Hi everyone, uh, now I'll be talking about the third part of local anesthesia. So it's very very important thing that now we'll be discussing about the calculations related to the local anesthesia and most of us uh, we are phobic towards the numbers okay so we are phobic towards the mathematics so but these are very very important and i'll try my best to make it as simple as possible so before going into the calculations there are few statements and few things that you have to learn the first thing is x percentage of lea means so so many times we heard a term like two percentage of lignocaine four percentage of lidocaine 0.5 percentage of bupicaine so what does it what does the percentage means so x percentage of Local anesthesia means so say very simple make a note percentages are always calculated for 100 Okay, so x percentage of lidocaine or x percentage of bupivacaine means it's very simple that it contains x grams of LA in 100 ml of solution it's very simple as I said percentage is always calculated for 100 x percentage means x grams of LA in 100 ml of solution so this is the first thing that you have to make a note most of the times you will find this percentage what is percentage means the second thing that you have to find how much amount of solution is present in one catres okay so this is regularly a catres and whatever we regularly used in our uh, oral surgery departments are syringes okay we regularly use uh, for LA we use 2 ml syringe okay syringe is different okay catres is different but catres will contain 1.8 ml so in most of the situation okay so they can ask you catres or in indian scenarios they can ask you the syringes so it's going to be somewhere around 1.8 ml or the 2 ml okay so i hope you are you are very clear with the amount of solution that is present in one catres and amount of solution that is present in one syringe the third important okay this is how the questions will be so how much lignocaine is present in 2 ml of 2 percentage of lidocaine solution so we have learned x percentage means x grams in 100 ml okay now it is 2 percentage 2 percentage means 2 grams in 100 ml okay so what happens if it is 1 ml according to the mathematics in the same solution it's going to contain 0 0.02 grams but it is clearly given how much present in 2 ml so it's going to be 2 ml it's going to be 0 0.04 grams or if you convert that grams into milligrams it's going to be 40 milligrams so the answer is a for this particular question so similarly they can ask how much amount of lidocaine is present in one catres one catres of two percentage of lidocaine so one catres will almost contain the same either it is 1.8 ml or you can consider it as 2 2 ml on the options so the question is the same the answer is same that is it contains how much amount of lidocaine is present in one catres or how much amount of lidocaine is present in 2 ml two percentage of solution i hope you're very very clear with the first part the first part clearly says that x percentage what is x percentage means x grams of local anesthesia is present in 100 ml of solution okay then how much amount of solution is present in the catres it is 1.8 so x grams in 100 ml okay then how much amount of solution is present in one catres is how much amount in 2 ml 100 ml having x grams 2 ml is how much is the question so that is the first level the second level the maximum doses of local anesthesia with adrenaline and without adrenaline is again the most commonly asked question for example if it is without adrenaline then it is 4.4 milligrams per kg body weight if it is with adrenaline it is 7 milligrams per kg body weight now the questions can be it's very clear like they're asking per body weight per kg body weight so they can ask you for 40 kgs male or something like that so what you have to do is if it is with adrenaline you have to multiply 7 into 40 it's going to be 
280 milligrams. Okay, this is the question. The maximum dosage of local anesthesia with adrenaline in a 40 kg male is. So, 1 kg we have learned it is 7 milligrams per 1 kg. Now it is 40 kg. So, 7 into 40, it is 280 milligrams is the answer. So, this is the maximum amount of local anesthesia with adrenaline that can be given to this particular individual who has entered the department. Next one, Ma maximum acceptable doses of adrenaline. Maximum acceptable doses of adrenaline for a normal patient and maximum accept acceptable doses of adrenaline for a cardiac patient. If it is normal patient, it is 0 0.2 milligrams. If it is cardiac patient, it is 0 0.4 milligrams. Again, these are the most commonly asked direct single liners for you. With in a normal patient is 0 0.2 milligrams in a cardiac patient is 0 0.04 milligrams this is the maximum that you can give to the particular patient the next comes this is the next level of question so we have learned level one level one is x grams of la means x gram sorry x percentage of la means it is x grams of la in 100 ml so the next level is how much see this how many cartridges of two percentage of lidocaine make a note without adrenaline are given to an individual of 50 kgs okay so we have learned that 50 without adrenaline is 4.4 milligrams per kg body weight right that is without adrenaline so it is 50 kgs so 4.4 into 50 kgs is 220 milligrams so this is the maximum that you can give to this particular individual okay so now you have to calculate the percentage so two percentage means two grams are present in how much are present in 100 ml now the question is now the question is 2 ml will contain how much because 2 ml will contain 40 mil milligrams okay so means one catrace or one syringe one syringe is going to contain 40 milligrams and maximum you can give to that particular patient is 220 so how many syringes of local anesthesia that you can give so it is going to be 220 by 40 it's going to be somewhere around 5.4 so you can give 5.4 cartridges of solution okay but there will be no 0.4 cartridges of solution so the maximum that you can give to this particular patient is five syringes or five cartridges sixth cannot be given so the answer is five 5.4 you don't have 5.4 cartridges so six should not be given six will lead to overdoses so six should not be given so the maximum that you can give to this particular patient is five so they can ask you like they can ask you what is the what what is for four percentage they can ask you for 70 cases something like that so get prepared for such type of questions so i hope you are clear first level now this say this is the second level of handling the calculation based question of local anesthesia the next one so until now we heard x percentage of lignocaine x percentage of bupiva kind something like that so the next level of questioning is one is to x means they are going to tell you about the vasoconstrictor that is the adrenal content like one is to one lakh one is to two lakh one is to three lakh is a regularly asked question what does it mean one is to x of vasoconstrictor or one is to x of adrenaline or one is to one lakh of adrenaline means what does this statement really gives an information it is one gram of adrenaline that is present in xml okay so one gram of adrenaline that is present in xml clearly so if if the same is given it is one gram of vasoconstrictor that is present in one lakh ml of la so how much is present in one ml of la so one gram by this value they can ask you how much is present in one solution that is one catrice one catrice will contain 2 ml or 1.8 so it is one gram by one lakh into two so this is how you have to calculate so such 
questions are also there on your basic MCQ books and of course you'll get exposed to such questions uh, in your daily topic specific exam okay so this is what uh, that you have to make a note when we are talking about the calculations related to the local anesthesia one calculation related to the local anesthesia is going to be the amount of local anesthesia that is x percentage the second calculation is going to be on the number of cartridges if you know the maximum doses by number of number uh, amount of local anesthesia in each syringe is going to give you the maximum amount of syringes third one is one needs to x ratio this is related to vasoconstrictor that is adrenaline this is related to the amount of local anesthesia so practice these two or three types of calculations with different numbers you can ask your friend to uh, throw or prepare a question okay series of five or six questions and you solve them and you prepare some four or five questions you ask your friend to solve them by which you get command over the concept one and command over the uh, number solving in your local anesthesia uh, done for now signing off dr Srikanth. love learning with team mds conquer